I want to give a quick overview of a very important issue in the Massachusetts criminal justice system that's often misunderstood, and that's the concept of bail. You might watch the news and see that a person was arrested for a very serious crime and then released that same day on a low cash bail. Then comes the social media outrage. How could the judge let this guy out with just a slap on the wrist? Well, those comments confirm to me that most people don't realize that bail is not a punishment. It's not a fine. It's just the amount of money that the defendant or someone on the defendant's half has to put up as collateral to get released before the case is over. If the cash bail is posted and the defendant misses a court date during the pendency of the case, that money will be forfeited forever. But if the defendant appears at every court hearing and complies with all other conditions while the case is pending, then that money is returned to whoever put up the money on the defendant's behalf, regardless of whether the defendant is ever found guilty or not at the end of the case. The judge looks at a lot of specific factors when setting the cash bail amount, including the defendant's prior record and history of showing up to scheduled court dates, his ties to the local community, his financial resources or ability to flee the jurisdiction, the punishment he faces if eventually convicted, and several others. But the judge will not use bail to punish a person. The judge can't even take dangerousness into consideration when setting a cash bail. There are some charges that do permit a prosecutor to seek a defendant's non-release while the case is pending because he's a danger to the community, but that's not a bail hearing. That's for dangerousness hearings. I'll discuss those on another day. But when a cash bail is amount is set and the judge also has to take into consideration the defendant's financial resources and cannot order an amount that the, that the defendant could never be able to afford to post, the judge first has to consider placing other conditions on the defendant's release besides an impossible cash bail. Common conditions of release that could ensure the defendant keeps appearing in court besides a high cash bail might be fitting the defendant with a GPS ankle bracelet and ordering him to home, com home confinement or a curfew, or ordering that he remain employed or having a home breathalyzer or a random drug testing if substance abuse may be an issue. Remember, bail set at an arraignment just after a person is arrested is put up as collateral and not as a punishment because the defendant is still presumed innocent of the charges unless and until he's ever proven guilty.